Hi Queens! Welcome back to the Queen Styles Boutique YouTube channel. It's Monday, which means that it is time for our weekly devotion. Every Monday there is a topic that goes out on Thursdays on the Facebook page. Um, I go live, Facebook Live at 8 p.m. every Thursday to have a live conversation with you um, about the topic. I will link all of that below. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So this week the topic is how to get motivated when you've been disappointed. How to um, get back in the game when you have faced some type of disappointment. Maybe it's a betrayal, but how to actually get back into the game. So the scripture reference for this week it comes from Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2. And it reads, when you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not burn consume you and the really inspiring part of that scripture that verse to me is the last part it says you will not be burned up the flames will not consume you you know being a christian being a christ follower it does not make us immune from difficulty it doesn't mean that just because we follow jesus that we love god you and i will never face any mountains you and i will never be oppressed because that is the case. It doesn't make us immune, but we do have an advantage when we go through trials. Um, part of that advantage is that we have help whenever we do face a disappointment. Disappointments, they happen to us all. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what color your skin is. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. We all face disappointments. We all get knocked down. But it is so important, Queens, that when we do get knocked down, that we get back in the game. You know what happens when we stay down? Number one, people who need our gift, they don't receive it. People who need our testimony, they don't receive it because you and I are not in the game. And number two, when we stay down, you and I have a tendency to settle. We don't dream again, we don't believe again, and that is not what God wants for us. Here are three ways to get energized, to get back in the game. They're not easy by any means, but when I was meditating on this, um, these are just some things that the Holy Spirit brought to my attention and I wanted to share them with you. So the first step, when you get knocked down, um, when you get disappointed, allow yourself to be disappointed. Some of you might have heard this term before. Some people call it self-actualization. It basically means that you are aware of how you are feeling and you're not judging yourself for feeling that way. You know, when God created us, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. There are no errors in us. He knew that when he created us, you and I would be emotional beings. He knew that you and I would have emotions. That's not some big surprise to God. But for some reason, and I just think that maybe it's just the society or maybe it's just being a Christian, but we tend to judge ourselves so hard whenever we have certain feelings. Um, whenever we are disappointed, you know, we think we have to solve that disappointment and rush right into the next season. Or whenever we get sad, we think that there's something wrong with being sad. There might not be anything wrong with that particular emotion, but I do think there is something that needs uh, attention whenever we stay in that emotion. What does that emotion cause us to do? So I think that it's really healthy, something that has worked for me. It's just saying, you know what? I had a really big disappointment. This didn't happen like I thought it would. This hasn't happened yet. Maybe it's a betrayal, but I acknowledge that feeling and I say, you know what, God, I'm sad. Um, I'm just going to give myself a day to just deal with this disappointment. Before you know, I move on to the next step, I just give myself that time. Maybe it's something really devastating and I need more than a day, a week. Maybe it's something really tragic and I need more time. But I allow myself that time out with no judgment. Now, during that time out, that doesn't mean that I'm not praying because I absolutely am. That doesn't mean that I'm not seeking motivation. I'm just not judging myself for feeling that sadness. I'm just not judging myself for feeling that disappointment. What happens when you and I judge ourselves with disappointment, with sadness, um, we tend to turn away from God. And that's quite the opposite. We don't need to do that during that phase. So no judgment, I allow myself to go to God with my disappointment, knowing that he will give me beauty for my ashes. That's step one, just allow yourself to have that feeling. Step two, 
take notes. You know, I have this tattoo right here. Yes, I am a Christian and I have um, a tattoo. I actually have two. This one says, never a mistake, always a lesson. I firmly believe that, you know, nothing that we go through is ever wasted. If I make a mistake or if I go through a disappointment, if I bring it to God, I don't believe that he wastes anything. I think that he can, he's the only one who can turn a mistake, who can turn a disappointment and make it into something that's going to be meaningful to my purpose, to my destiny. So let's just say that you applied to your dream job and you thought that you just aced that interview, but it turns out you didn't get it. Is there something that you can learn? Is there something that you can take with you? Maybe you went out for um, a dream school. Maybe you applied, but you didn't get in. Is there something that you can take for your good? Is there something that you can learn? Is there something that can make you grow into the queen that God created you to be? If you're thinking back and you're like, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm not seeing it. I don't see what I did wrong or I don't see, even if you didn't do anything wrong, you're like, you know what? I'm just not seeing the lesson here. Go to God, ask him, ask him, say, God, is there anything that I can take from this situation to better myself, to grow into the woman that you've created me to be? If you pray and ask, he'll deliver. Step one, self-actualization allow yourself no judgment go to god with your disappointment he's not judging you don't wear a mask go to god with your disappointment watch him turn that beaut those ashes into beauty step two take notes what can you learn if you are not aware of a lesson that you can take ask god and the final step queens is remember that god is i am um god is having this conversation with moses and you know, he's telling Moses to do something. He's giving Moses an assignment and Moses, you know, is basically giving God, he's doing what a lot of us do, me, myself included. He's basically telling God, look, I'm not the person for this job because I'm this. I'm not the person for this job because I'm this. Like I, I'm not the one. And he's like, God, who, well, if I do this, who should I say sent me to do this? And God said, tell them that I am sent you. And at first it's like, I am what? Like, what is the rest of that? But something that resonates with me, I believe, and I've heard it said before, that God didn't say what he was because he is all things. That gets me so excited. Whenever I go through a disappointment, whenever I'm knocked down, whenever I am taking a time out from the game, I have to remember that I can get back in, that I can dream again, that I can believe again, that I can try again, not because of my efforts, not because of my might, but because of who my father is. And my father is I am. Queen, when you get knocked down, when you face a disappointment, remember that you can. It might seem so hard. It might seem impossible to get back in the game, but our God can do the impossible. He is, I am. Always take that with you. Yes, it's okay to take a time out, queen, but you have to get back in the game. Somebody is waiting for your gift. Somebody is waiting for your testimony. And again, when we kind of settle in that disappointment, we end up settling. We don't dream again. We just, you know, settle for just an okay life. God did not breathe his life into you, queen, to live an okay life, to have okay relationships. Um, no, that's, that's not who God created you to be. So if you are facing a disappointment or if you know someone who is facing a disappointment, um, absolutely you share this video, send this to them. But remember, queens, three steps. And by all means, they are not easy. But remember, queens, we're not doing life alone. Step one, go to God with your judgment. Go to God with your disappointment. Go to God with your sadness. He's not judging you, so don't judge yourself for that feeling. Bring it to him so that he can turn those ashes into beauty. Step two, take notes. What can you learn from this disappointment? Um, if it's a mistake that you made, or maybe it's not, still go to God and ask him, what can I bring out of this disappointment, God? I know that you waste nothing. What can I bring out of this disappointment to turn it into something good? 
that I can better myself to grow into the woman, the queen that you created me to be. And step three, queen, when you get out of the game, when you're taking that time out, when you're down, remember that you can get back in the game. You can dream again. You can try again. You can believe again because of who your father is. And he says, I am. He is I am. He's everything. I hope that encouraged you today, queens. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of that or if there are any topics that you would like to discuss in the devotion. I will link all the information below if you want to join the live conversation this Thursday at 8 p.m. on Facebook Live. Thank you so much for watching, and I pray that God continues to give you the grace to walk as a queen. I'll see you next time.